Good morning, second grade. Take out your health, safety, and manners book. Open to the table of contents. And today, we're going to look at your health, page three. We're going to look at practicing good posture on page three. Let's read over the pathway to good health. Pathway to good health. Follow the pathway to discover some things that keep you healthy. Good posture. Nutritious meals. Exercise. Fresh air and sunshine. Rest and sleep. Right thoughts. Cleanliness and kindness. You'll notice about all of these topics of how to have good health are all habits that you can form. You can, ha you can form habits to have good posture and to eat the right foods and to exercise and to get the fresh air you need. All of these things can be habits. You need to practice to have good habits and not poor habits. Your health. What a wonderful body God has given you. Your body is like a house that the real you lives in. It is a house that God made, and he expects you to take care of it for him. Taking care of your body will help you be healthy. Look at my beautiful palace. A beautiful palace my king gave to me, and all through my lifetime my home it will be. I call it my body to use as I will, but this I remember that God owns it still. From things that would harm it, I'll keep it away and carefully guard it by night and by day. Its windows and doors are my lips, ears, and eyes. Dear King, help me use them in ways that are wise. By Louise M. Ogilvy. Who is my king? It says my king. I notice my king is capitalized, proper noun. Yes, my king is God. God gave my body to me. God owns our bodies. Practice good posture. When you practice something and you do it over and over again, do you know what that's called? That's called a habit. Sit up straight and tall. Pull your stomach in and your shoulders back. Hold your head high and let your feet touch the floor. Keep your back against the back of your chair. Now smile. Doesn't that make you feel good? Posture is the way you sit, stand, and walk. Good posture will help your bones to grow straight. Good posture also makes you look better and feel better. Vocabulary, beautiful and posture. Now stand straight and tall. Point your toes forward. Keep your head up, your shoulders back, and your stomach in. Take a deep breath and relax. You should still be standing with your head up, your shoulders back, and your stomach in. Poor posture makes your body work harder. Then you feel tired. Poor posture can be caused by shoes that do not fit properly. If your shoes are too small, the bones in your feet cannot grow straight. Something to do. 
Can you pass this good posture test? Cut a piece of string and tie an eraser or a crayon onto one end of it. Have a friend hold the other end near your ear. The string should hang free. If your posture is good, the string will pass through the middle of your body. Poor posture can also be caused by poor posture habits. A habit is something you do over and over until you do it without thinking about it. Every time you sit, think straight and tall. Whenever you stand or walk, think straight and tall. When you can sit, walk, and stand straight and tall without thinking about it, you have formed these good health habits. Good health habits help you take care of the body God has given you to live in. They will help you to be happy and to keep your body strong, well and strong. Vocabulary, habit. Thinking it through, write a word in each blank to make a good posture rule. Up. What would we say for up? What could we say for up? Look, look for what we could say. Oh, here it is. Let me zoom in. Keep your head up. So you could say head up. What could you say for in? Stomach in. What could you say for back? Shoulders back. How about forward? Toes forward and straight. What could you say for straight? Stand straight. Look again. Head up. Stomach in, shoulders back, toes forward, standing straight. All right, here's some questions. Reading comprehension, circle the correct answers. Number one, the way I sit, stand, and walk is called puncture or posture? Posture, that's right. Number two, poor posture makes my body work less or harder? Poor posture makes your body work harder, harder. Number three, something I do without thinking about it is a habit or a rule? A habit. Your habits can be good habits because you do them over and over again the right way, or they could be bad habits or poor habits because you do them over and over again the wrong way. All right. See you the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye-bye.